everybody, Shayla here. Today I'm going to go over the security options and the information saving options in your Gmail account. So now we're here in our Gmail account. So in order to get to my account, in order to change, to make sure your security is updated and your information settings are the way that you want them, you go up to this, this little square of dots here. Google Apps is going to pop up. You click that go to account. So here is the main page. So since we, this is a very new account, it's telling us we've got the four, we've got the four windows here, privacy and personalization, security issues found, account storage, and taking the privacy checkup. So we're going to start with uh, the privacy checkup. And so we're going to start with the privacy checkup. Right here we have, we can choose whether to save activity data in our account. So our web and app activity is turned on. We went over that already. It's saving. So right now what it's doing is it's saving our activity on Google sites and apps. So it's tracking what we're searching and it's, it can track our location and it'll, it's saving which apps we use how often we use them, the Chrome history, and which sites that we visit. So we can turn that off if we go into web and app activity and turn that off. So now that's off. So we can go also into location history. So that looks like it's off right now. So if you turn that on, it's going to create a map of where you go to your signed in devices, how long and how often. It's only accessible to you, but if you still don't feel comfortable with it, so that's paused right now. And uh, your YouTube history, that's turned on. That's just saving YouTube windows you watch or what you search for on YouTube, which is a video sharing website that I'll probably go over a bit later and if we hit this you can control what others see about you so if you do stuff on your google account like if you're reviewing people's if you're reviewing businesses if you're recommending businesses and other just other activities like google play your profile name your profile photo that's stuff that people can see you can edit it yeah, so you can click this if you want, if you're okay with Google showing your profile name, photo, and activity in when you're leaving ads for people. Um, so, so that's not an issue. So we're just going to hit done. And this is just saying that you can opt in or out of ads based on information like your age, your gender, your, your history, if, you, if you're accepting stuff like that. So we're going to continue. We're going to, okay, we're going to get started. Okay, so we're just going to go up and hit next here. And okay. Okay, I guess that's done. And you can hit the, and you can hit this if you want them to send you like messages about how these are your settings. And if you want to change them, you can do that. So we're going to continue. So that's the privacy checkout. We can go over to security issues found to see what Google has a problem with with our security. So sign in and recovery, it wants me to verify my phone number. So I'm not gonna verify that because that's the front desk number and I don't wanna bother them. It'll tell you which devices you're signed in onto and it'll show you so your recent security events. So basically, whenever you sign in, whenever you add a recovery email, it's going to show up right here. If you see an event that was not initiated by you, so like if, for example, an event popped up here that I got a new sign in on a on a smartphone somewhere in like Alabama or something. I would be like, oh, that's not me. So in that case, I would have to click this and then just generally and then they're going to tell you to change your password and it's going to sign you out of all of your devices. So yeah, so if that happens, you should definitely change your password because then somebody you don't want to have access to your account does. So that's the security checkup. And we're going to go back to the main page. So now let's check out privacy and personalization. So here it look, just looks like a, a easier, more central place to change your activity controls. So right now our web and app activity is paused, our location history is paused, our YouTube history is on. 
our ad personalization is also off, that they can't use our history or our age or our gender or anything else to show us ads that would apply to us. This is the activity and timeline. So the activity is where your history is going to be and you can delete any or all of it. So I'm just going to take a peek in here. And yeah, no activity because our web and app activity is off. So it's not saving that. And our timeline is going to show you where your location history. We don't have we don't have that saved, so there shouldn't be anything here, but yeah, there's nothing here. So because it, it's not because we didn't give it permission to keep track of that, it's not showing us where we've been. But in the event that you did have that on, it would show where you've been. Down in here, under things you create and do, that's you go to the Google dashboard to see your services and the data saved in your account. So let's just check that out. So yeah, there are the popular Google services that we're using. Web and app activities, pause. Our account's right there. We have one contact, I think, which is Google itself. So our Gmail and our YouTube history is on. So, uh, and you can also download everything that Google has on you. So if you wanted to ever take a look at that can do that from there yeah you can download it from here and down here is your account storage and so here is where it will tell you how much you've used and under manage storage it will show you how much is google drive uh gmail google photos you have 15 gigabytes of free storage and if you want more than that then you'll have to pay them money but 15 gigs is actually a lot so most most normal people won't even get near that. So. so down here is download, delete, or make a plan for your data. So you can download all your data like you could back in account settings. You can make a plan for your account. So in the event that you stop using Google or like if you, in case of, you know, injury or death, Google can delete your account and everything on it, or it can pass control over to somebody else and you can delete one of the services that Google has or just your whole account from there. And general preferences, you can change your language, input tools, accessibility. So if you are blind, you can turn the, or like have a hard time seeing, you can turn the screen reader on and looks like you can also change the colors to high contrast colors. So if that is helpful for anybody and you can change search settings here. So safe search helps you block inappropriate or explicit images. So you can turn on safe search if you would prefer to have it like that. Um, you can change the result results for page, use private results, including content and connections that only you can see. You can search by voice and you can, if when you search by voice, it can, it will speak to you. You can open, you can select to open each selected result in a new browser window. So if you're doing research or something and you want to just keep all the tabs open, you can do it like that. And it's set for the, this region. And a search activity helps us, helps give you more relevant results by using the things you search for. So right now, I believe our search activity is turned off. Yeah, it's off. So that's not going to help us. But if you are interested in having it and having it save your web and search history in order to help with your future search searches, you can do that. You can turn it on and do that. So we're going to hit OK. And so let's head on back there. And so down here, uh, we have uh, reservations. So if you buy your plane tickets online or like your hotels and events or whatnot, you can save that here and you can set up a business personalization. So if you're using Google for your business, you can turn that on in the event that that's something that you need. So in addition to the four categories in the home screen, we also have a, a list of options on the left side here. There's personal info, data and personalization. That's where we are. That's where the data and personalization window in the home gets us to. We have security, which is where the security one in home gets us to people and sharing and payments and subscriptions. So in personal info, it's got all of the information that they have are the name, a photo, if you wanted to put a profile po photo on the birthday that you put in your gender and your password and your contact information. So there's the phone number and there's the and there's the email addresses. So if we go to about me, we can manage the personal info and can control who sees it. So our name, we have anyone, our profile picture only we can see female, our gender is female. 
only we can see that. Uh, the birthday, January 1st, 1999, only we can see that. So Google contact information, that's a thing that anyone can see if they reach our, reach our profile. And uh, about, you can write an about. You can put in your work and education if you wanted to. And so in order to, if you wanted to change the setting. So let's just say that we don't necessarily need this to be able to, to just be seen by only us. So you can click anyone and yeah. Okay. So now anyone can see that and it's, it's generally that easy. So let's go back. All right. And here is the security tab. So if you hit a security issues found, that's mostly going to be the same thing as uh, the security checkup in the home. If we go down to signing into Google, you can, you can change your password here. You can turn on uh, using your phone to sign in. So if you have your mobile phone with you, you can turn that on. And instead of typing in your password each time, you get a prompt from Google on your phone. So you can do that if you need to. Uh, and you can also set up a two-step verification. So you can put in, so then you put in a password and a verification code sent to your mobile phone so that it's harder for people to get into it. You can change your phone number and email here, your security activities here, just like it was in the, in the security checkup. Here are the devices that we've signed into this Google account on. If you sign into more than one, uh, more than one's gonna pop up there. These are Google apps with account access. So the only one that we have here is Google Chrome. If you have a, if you have a smartphone and you might be downloading like Google Docs, or uh, my drive on here, those are what's going to pop up there. Down here, if you use like apps and devices that have less secure sign-in technology, they're, they're blocked so that they can't access your account and that's off. So you should probably, uh, you should probably keep it off. You can sign into other sites here and sign in uh, with Google to a bunch of different, like Facebook has like a sign in with a Google option, I think. That's the biggest one. So if you decide to do that, those will show up here. Password manager, Google can save your passwords to certain things and you can, you can change them and you can change your saved passwords there. And you can take a look. If you forget them, you can check in password manager for that. And linked account, you can link your Google account to other accounts in different social media sites. So like Facebook, you can access to Facebook. I think Spotify, d uh, different things like that. So if you do have linked accounts, they will show up right there. So let's go over to people and sharing. So now here we have the people and sharing tab. So here you can, you can take a look at your contacts and you can turn on contact information, say from interactions. So basically when you email somebody, it will automatically save their contact information. So it'll make it easier for you to uh, find it. If you're using a uh, Gmail on a cell phone, you probably have contacts in your cell phone. You can turn on contact info from your devices and it will import stuff from your device into Gmail so you'll be able to access them there. You can block users. So if somebody's emailing you and just and harassing you or you know even if you just don't want to hear from them anymore, you can block them that you can block them here. And location sharing, you do have the ability to if you have your location turned on to share it with another Google account. So if you wanted if that was something that like say you're concerned about a friend, you want to make sure that they get home safely, you can ask them if they would be willing to, and they have a Google account, you can ask them if they would be willing to do location sharing with you so you can watch and make sure that they get home safe. And down here, this is going to take you back to, this is gonna take you back to personal info uh, to change your, how, what people see settings. And uh, down here under share recommendations and ads, that's this thing where you can, where when you write recommendations on Facebook, it shows your picture and your name. And that's off right now, but you can change that that for whatever reason you would like to change that. So um, under payments and subscriptions, you can manage what you are paying for through your Google account. So you can set up Google Pay there. You can check out your purchases made that you made through your Gmail account. Your recurring subscriptions, you can manage that there. And your reservations, you can check, you can manage your flights, hotels, and events through the reservations right here. 
So that is about it for the Google account settings. I hope that this video was helpful and informative for you guys. If you have any question, any questions or suggestions on what to cover next, you can you can comment, you can, you can leave us a comment, you can call us, you can email us, you can text us. If you have any issues with your Google account, we can try to help you, but just keep in mind that Google is not anything that's like sponsored by us and it's not a service that we technically provide. So if you, so you may have, so we can certainly try to help, but we may not be the best place to turn to. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video.